Welcome to the fascinating world of brain-computer interfaces, also known as BCIs, where the boundaries between mind and machine blur, unlocking incredible possibilities for human-machine interaction. In this video, we will embark on a journey to explore what BCI is, how they work, their diverse applications, and the existing advancements that are shaping the future of this revolutionary field. Get ready to delve into the realm of mind-to-machine connections, where science fiction becomes a remarkable reality. So, what is a brain-computer interface? BCI is a technology that establishes a direct communication pathway between the human brain and external devices, such as computers or prosthetics. It enables individuals to control and interact with these devices using brain signals, bypassing traditional input methods like keyboards or mice. BCIs aim to enable direct brain control of devices, benefiting people with disabilities, advancing medical treatments, and unlocking new frontiers in human-machine interaction, while also enhancing neuroscience research and impacting various fields like healthcare, gaming, and technology. The early theoretical concepts of brain signals were explored in the late 19th and early 20th centuries by scientists like Angela Mosso and Hans Barger. The 1960s and 1970s saw significant strides with researcher Joe Delgado demonstrating remote control of animal and human movements through implanted electrodes. The 1990s witnessed major breakthroughs in non-invasive BCIs using EEG, exemplified by the work of researchers Wolpau and McFarland, who demonstrated brain-controlled computer cursors. The early 2000s marked a pivotal moment with John Donahue's team showcasing brain-controlled robotic arms through invasive BCIs. Ongoing advancements in signal processing and machine learning have improved BCI accuracy, leading to commercial ventures like Neuralink and Neuropace exploring medical applications and assisting people with disabilities. Now, you might be curious to know how it functions. Let's bring it in. The first step is signal acquisition. The BCI system records brain signals using various techniques, such as electroencephalography, or EEG, functional magnetic resonance imaging, fMRI, magnetoencephalography, or MEG, or invasive methods involving implanted electrodes. Then, the raw brain signals are pre-processed to remove noise, artifacts, and irrelevant information. After that, relevant features or patterns are extracted from the processed brain signals, representing specific brain activities or intentions. Now, the user performs specific tasks or imagines actions while the BCI system records their brain signals. This data is used to train the machine learning algorithms associating the extracted features with intended actions. Using the trained algorithms, the BCI decodes and classifies the brain patterns and identifies the user's intentions or commands. After this, the BCI provides feedback to the user, either through visual, auditory, or tactile cues, helping them understand their brain activity and improve control over the system. Once the user's intentions are accurately decoded, the BCI sends corresponding commands to external devices, such as moving a computer cursor, controlling a robotic limb, or communicating with assistive technologies. The process is iterative. The user continues to interact with the BCI, and the system adapts further based on real-time feedback and learning from the user's brain signals. The continuous loop of signal acquisition, processing, feature extraction, decoding, and user feedback forms the foundation of the BCI workflow. As the user gains experience and the system refines its understanding, the interaction between the individual and the BCI becomes interestingly intuitive and efficient. 
BCIs offer a multitude of benefits. They provide vital support for people with disabilities, allowing them to regain control and communication. BCIs facilitate neurorehabilitation, aiding stroke patients and those with neurological disorders in relearning motor skills. Additionally, BCIs advance neuroscience research by providing valuable insights into brain function and cognitive processes. Medical applications of BCIs continue to expand with potential therapeutic uses in treating epilepsy, Parkinson's disease, and other neurological conditions. In the realm of gaming, BCIs allow users to control virtual environments and characters directly with their minds. These interfaces pave the way for mind control devices, cognitive enhancement, and human-machine integration, offering transformative possibilities for the future of technology and human potential. Like all other outstanding innovations, BCIs are two facing challenges and limitations. Signal quality remains a significant concern, the calibration and training process for personalized control becomes time-consuming at times. However, despite these challenges, the current status of BCIs is promising. They have demonstrated successful applications in assistive technology, communication, and neurorehabilitation. Researchers are actively working to improve signal processing techniques, enhance machine learning algorithms, and explore more efficient ways to calibrate BCIs. The future outlook for BCIs is optimistic, with ongoing advancements likely to result in more precise and intuitive brain-controlled interactions, expanded medical applications, and a profound impact on human-machine integration, unlocking new possibilities for enhancing human capabilities and enriching lives. Brain-computer interfaces have revolutionized human-brain interaction. Despite challenges, BCIs show promise in assisting disabilities, advancing medical treatments, and exploring new frontiers in neuroscience. Ongoing research aims to enhance their precision and expand applications, heralding an optimistic future of intuitive brain control interactions and seamless human-machine integration. As we dive deeper into the realm of mind-to-machine connections, this awe-inspiring journey from theory to reality becomes a remarkable and transformative force for human progress. And thank you for watching.